All right, so in this video, we want to find the area of the triangle that's basically created by these three points over here. So the first thing we really want to determine anytime we're trying to find the area of the triangle is whether this is a right triangle or not. Uh, that will generally make a huge difference, and I'll explain why really quick. Because let's say we have a non-right triangle over here. So we call it D, E, F. And let's say we have a right triangle over here, D, E, F. To find the area of this triangle is pretty simple. This will just be my base, this will be my height, and I'll just do area equals base times height divided by two. But to find the area of this triangle over here, I have to find the altitude over here and then just do the base times the height divided by two. So not right triangles are much harder, which is why I need to figure out whether this is a right triangle or not. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the slopes of these three over here. So let's start with the slope of DE. So 25 minus one over five plus 10, which is just 24. Or 15, which simplifies to 8 or 5. Let's find the slope of EF next. 1 plus 10 over negative 10 minus 3, which is 11 over negative 13, or just negative 11 over 13. I'll find the slope of DF. df is just 25 plus 10 over 5 minus 3, which is 35 over 2. If I compare these three slopes, none of them are negative reciprocals of each other, which means this is definitely not a right triangle. It's a regular triangle. So I'm going to do everything based off this regular triangle here, which is not accurate to scale but we can still use it to figure out this question. Okay, so in order for me to find the area of this triangle, I need to find the length of the base and the length of the altitude. Let's find the length of the base first because that's pretty easy. It's just my distance from E to F. So I'll just sub these points into my distance formula. Negative 10 minus 3 squared plus 1 plus 10 squared, which is negative 13 squared plus 11 squared, which is just the root of 290, which is approximately 17, 17.02. I'll just round it to 17 in this case. It's not even one decimal place here. Now that I found the base, I need to find the distance of the height. But the problem is I don't have this point over here. So I need to find this point in order to be able to find this distance. In order to find this point, I need the equation of this line. I need the equation of this line. And then I need to solve them using substitution. So let me start by finding the equation of this line first, EF. You know that the equation for a line is just y equals mx plus b. I've already found the slope of EF right here. It's negative 11 over 13. So y equals to negative 11 over 13x plus b. We can convert these to decimals as well if you want to make things a bit easier. I'll rewrite this as negative 0.8x plus b. Then I'm going to sub in this point. Oh no, sorry, this point, because I'm on EF, I'm gonna sub in E to figure out my y-intercept. So one equals negative 0 0.8 times negative 10 plus B. One equals eight plus B, negative seven equals B. Negative 11 over 13. Oh, sorry, this is 0 0.85, not 8. Tiny mistake there. 
this is 8.5 and this is negative 7.5 equals b. My equation for EF equals y equals negative 0.85x minus 7.5. Now I want to find an equation for the altitude. The same formula y equals mx plus b. I know that for an altitude, my slope is the negative reciprocal of this line. I'm just going to flip this slope and do the negative reciprocal. So that's 13 over 11 x plus b. I'll convert it to a decimal now to make things a bit easier. So that's just y equals 1 point. It's 1.19. So I can just round to 1.2 because it's close enough. So 1.2x plus b won't make a huge difference compared to this where this was 7.5 and 8.5. So you want to keep more decimals there. I'll sub in the point d. It's the only point I can sub in to figure out my b. I get 19 equals to b. So my equation here is y equals 1.2x plus 19. So now I have two equations here. I want to equate them together with substitution to find my x value. So negative 0.85x minus 7.5 equals 1.2x plus 19. I'll move the negative 0.85 to that side and the 19 to this side. So negative 7.5 minus 19 equals 1.2x plus 0.85x. Negative 26.5 equals 2.05x. And then I get x to be 12 point, negative 12.9. Once I find my x, I can find my y by just subbing in either of these two formulas. I'll just use this one because this one's a positive one. So y equals to 1.2 times negative 12.9 plus 19. Put this in my calculator. And I get y is 3.52. So this point over here is basically negative 12.9 and 3.52. So now I can find this distance, the height, by just using these two points in my distance formula. So that is just going to be square root of 5 plus 12.9 squared plus 25 minus 3.52 squared, which is 17.9 squared plus 21.5 squared, we can round that a bit, doesn't matter too much. And then if I calculate this, I just get the distance to be approximately 28, 27.97, so we can round that to 28. Now I can find the area. Area is just base times height divided by two. Base is just the distance of EF, which I found a bit earlier. That was 17. Height is 28. I just found it divided by 2. I get my area of my triangle to be 238 units squared.